folks, I'm going to try something a bit different today, which is uh, a bit of a sounds like. Now, this is sounds like, as you read in the description, Zach Wilde by using completely the wrong gear, because that's what I've got. Anyway, I play in a kind of rock metal cover band, and I never, ever, ever aspire or try and sound like anyone that we cover. Whether that's Slash or Van Halen or Mick Mars and Motley Crue or Satriani and Chicken Foot or you know, you name it. I don't go out my way to sound like any of them. I've got a sound and I'm quite happy and it varies because I sometimes I'll use the Jet City, sometimes I'll use the Bugera, sometimes I'll use the Ultra Plus, sometimes I'm going to, not yet, done it yet, I'll use the PV Windsor. All very, very, very different sounding amplifiers. But it's a generic high gain tone and I've got a boost pedal, a wah wah and a phase up and that's really it. So it's kind of nice and simple. I don't, I don't need more hassle. So this was an idea really. I was uh, listening to some old Aussie stuff and I thought, you know, that Windsor that I got kind of comes pretty close to that sound. And uh, on its own it does not at all. You know, it's, it's very similar to a Marshall JCM 800, which is part of folklore, but in all honesty, it's not a high gain amp. A lot of people will get it and think, let's do metal. Eh, it needs a lot of help. But it's a fantastic rock amp. And the PV Windsor is essentially a slightly, very slightly hot rodded version of that. Single channel, master volume, nice and simple. It does really one thing and it does it quite well. And they are an absolute bargain. I'm liking this so much. Remember, I paid 300 euros for the whole half stack. And I'm hopefully getting another head, which uh, was 100 euros. Big win. Anyway, oh, could you please like and subscribe? Then I could maybe get to enough subscribers to eventually earn some money and buy better gear. Anyway, this is completely the wrong stuff to try and sound a bit like. And please let me know if you want me to do this again, because there's four amps there and it's sometimes a good way of actually properly listening to people and listening to artists and ah, how did he do that? What did they do? And, and trying to replicate is good in that sense. I don't recommend it for somebody playing live, just have a sound that you like and roll with it. The audience really don't care. So, first of all, the Windsor, the gain is only at about two o'clock, the mid is halfway, bass and treble about two o'clock, the resonance is about two o'clock, presence is, oh, we're basically at two o'clock, and this is what you get. It's not a metal amp, it's a rock amp, and it's a great rock amp. But this is the sound we get, and I'll stick with the same kind of riff for everything. The, you'll see the Ultra Plus is on, but it's on standby just now. So all you're hearing is this cabinet and that head. chunk and it's crunchy enough but it's it's almost more ACDC than it is uh, Zach Wild. you know you could quite happily you could do that I played a few seconds of ACDC and it got pig, picked up by copyright believe it or not anyway right so the first thing is and it's the only piece of kit that I've got that Zach Wild was known to use and it's a Boss SD1 so there's the noise and here we have the same sound with the SD1.
beginning to sound pretty close, it's not bad. Now, in the studio Zach Wilde double tracked and live he used a chorus. So I'm going to use a chorus here and it is through this old Boss SE50 which is 32 year old but it is a Boss stereo chorus. So any Boss stereo chorus, any stereo chorus to be honest, even a, a 25 euro Behringer one will do the job nicely. Even if it's got a dry out and a chorus out because you only need really one cabinet with the modulation. Um, so what I've got here is that and the second amp. Now two amps will always make you sound huge. Two cabinets will make you sound huge. Two small combos sat two meters apart will make you sound huge. So I think it's something worth doing actually really all the time. So we'll put on the Ultra Plus. Now I'm not using any of the gain stage in the Ultra Plus. I just have a line from the return section of this. One is going into this amp, one is going into that. So it's only the power amp section. But all of a sudden, it's big. And I'll put on the SD1 and play the same riff with both amps. Closer. And even although there's no chorus or modulation in yet, just having more speakers slightly distance apart, watch out for phasing issues, however I've been okay in here, and with the moment you add in a chorus or any kind of time delay, the phasing issues seem to kind of go away. Watch that pedal show, they explain all that stuff. Anyway, I've got a chorus set up on this, and the way I've set it up, if you've got a pedal, it's just the same. I've only got three controls on the chorus. I've got the rate very low, I've got the depth around halfway, and I've got the feedback quite low. But I find with this, when the feedback's high, it begins to sound more like a flanger. You get the noise. Don't want that. I just want a kind of subtle chorus to give it a doubling effect. So I've really got this side is, is modulating slightly. This side is actually still quite dry, so uh, that is this on. And it's bigger already. But if I put in the SD1, voiced, a chorus, any chorus that's a stereo chorus, even a mono would work, I'll explain why, but um, a chorus and two amps. Now I did say a mono chorus will work because all you do is from the send on your first amp you then go into your stereo, into your chorus and take the output of that into the effects return of your second amp. You don't need both amps modulating. It works really nicely with one. And 
sometimes I prefer that. It's kind of like a, a wet dry setup. With this, I could actually run a, a wet dry wet because I can keep this dry, pull the this out, plug it into another amp, run it into another speaker if I wanted. It's quite important to have at least one of your speakers fairly direct and dry so you're hearing it in real time if that makes sense and it adds a punch and a clarity. You can have much more effect on one speaker if you have got one nice and dry and it cuts through much better than rather than it being a kind of wash of sound. But um, so that was what I came up with. Chorus, Boss SD1, PV Windsor. And the PV Windsor was the best amp for this. The Ultra Plus didn't sound right. The voicing wasn't right. The Bugera didn't sound right. The Jet City wasn't bad, but its effects loop is so awful, even with that rack unit, it doesn't behave properly. So, um, yeah, a big win for the, the, the PV. So here we go again, just to let you hear. <laughs> of what's in here because it sounds enormous in the room the difference is night and day however I ended up playing a little bit more with this and there's something slightly better to my ears express your opinion please and I've preset it one down and it's a pitch shift but it's a micro pitch shift I haven't went up or down, you know, a fifth or a third, it's at zero. But I've detuned this side by six cents, so six one hundredths of a note. But this also allows me to delay that, there's a pre delay, excuse me, by five, five or six milliseconds I've moved it to. So it's kind of doing the same thing as a chorus. But it seems to do it better because it's not quite modulating the same. It's, it's a constant doubling in a way. And in this room, for my ears, that works really well. It also does the 90s Van Halen tone. It's very similar. So see what you think of this. You've heard the chorus. I'll put it back. I'll give you the chorus and then I'll give you the pitch shift. I personally prefer the micro pitch. 
And you can get things similar to that, like so the TC Electronic Mimic, they do something very similar in a pedal form. Most multi-effects should have that. My old Digitech has that as well, this detune function. And these old rack things, you can pick them up for 50 euros. They're, they're really nothing. And they're a great handy tool. And as you see, I've been working it off a foot switch. You can also scroll, you can also plug a MIDI shifter in it so you could have a whole pedal board essentially run off that. And they are so cheap and they're really, really good. But multi, any multi effect should do it. I don't know if the Line 6, I know the 8 effects, the Helix effects will do it. The old Firehawk does not. But there's many, many devices to do that. But I think the micro pitch is the way to go. And two amps, a Boss SD1, and you are absolutely there. So, oh, I said it does the kind of Van Halen thing. <laughs> this but it's in the room it's the best I've got at the moment and do not knock that amp the PV Windsor when people say it doesn't do it maybe doesn't it's not ideal for modern tight metal but good grief it does rock <laughs> Some more things, just seeing what I can do to get a sound out of a load of cheap gear and the wrong stuff. So, thank you very much. Bye bye.